Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vault Hunters 1.18. I'm really, really excited to finally be playing this and I hope that you are excited to join me on this journey. Now a lot has changed from the previous version of Vault Hunters and Vault Hunters 1.18, but we'll be covering that once we get to it so we don't get information overload and the intro of this video becoming 10 minutes. So without any further ado, let's get to work. And well, we spawned right next to a village. <laughs> Honestly, that couldn't have that we couldn't have had a better start than that honestly because uh, villagers well Yeah, yeah, I want villagers to get started easier. Also. Um, I'm gonna steal a bed real quick Maybe a little bit. Do we not have it doesn't look like we have hay bales. Well, I am definitely gonna take the hay That's for sure. Also at least a pumpkin. Don't know where I'm gonna. Oh That would be cool. Maybe I, I uh, Yeah, L let's just get into it. I have not thought of any like where to put Basis or anything. I haven't even taken a look at the general area here. Looks cool though. But yeah, first loot the village. And I will be taking this bed instead because it's blue and I like it more. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, sure. Two emeralds, potatoes, sweet berries. Yep, I'll I'll be taking that. I'll I'll take that. That's for sure. Uh, actually, I'll bring the crafting table as well. Ooh, even more stuff here. Actually, this is really good. First off, food. Secondly, wood, which means I'll be able to get first basic tool going, which is, of course, the wooden pickaxe. And that means I can now destroy this and then pick you up <laughs> so that I can use you later. I'm really happy that that is still a feature. Sugar cane. Yep, definitely. Oh, wow, that's actually acquired a lot of villages here. I'll pick you as well. The bell will also be mine. Actually, I don't know if I can break it with a wooden pickaxe, I assume. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> hey, fellas. I, uh, I think... Yeah, I, I think you have some leakage in this hut. Yeah, I, uh, you may want to um, have that checked, fellas. That's... Oh, that looks bad actually. Found some bookshelves. This I will not say no to. Alright, I think that is everything that I really need from this village at this point in time. Five villages hopefully should be enough to get us started. Uh, wait a minute, there's one more house I haven't checked yet. Which has nothing. Alright, alright. Next up I want to take a little bit of a look at the surrounding area. If we have anything interesting at the borders, something that we can go towards. Don't think so. I think I'm gonna head in this direction maybe. Don't know where to set up shop, but I know that I definitely need to get some stone for some stone tools, so I'm gonna be heading in that direction. I can get some coal as well. Uh, didn't, oh, oh, yeah, caves, there we go. Didn't really get a whole lot of food over there, but we do have cows here, which is handy. But I'm gonna start with some stone tools first, and then let's see what we got in this direction. And boom, perfect. Would you look at that? Lovely. Need a little bit extra for a furnace though. Oh, this is a cave leading down. I don't know how far it leads down, but I think we're gonna find out. There are two main things that we need to get from underground, which is why I really want to go caving. Um, ooh, and that is we need to get chipped vault rocks and we need to get this raw chromatic iron which is new in Vault Hunters 1.18. We will be using it for a bunch of stuff. It has a bunch of uses, mainly the ingots as you can see. Y yep, we need it for a lot of stuff but we also need it right there to make the vault rocks because we no longer find vault rocks or vault yeah, vault rocks, uh, as we do before. There was, there's no longer a vault rock ore. We need to craft them, and we craft them using uh, chromatic iron together with chipped vault rocks, which we also get by mining a different type of stone that we also need to find underground. So, ideally, we want to get underground mining in a big area if possible. Right, let's see what this cave has to offer, if it has anything to offer. Oh, yep, it goes all the way down to Deep Slate. Okay, this is actually pretty ideal. My inventory space isn't, but everything else is pretty ideal. <laughs> Make a bunch of torches. My food situation is not ideal either, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. Oh, what do I see here? A mine shaft. Okay, that is very interesting. 
I think that's just part of the generation. I don't think that's an actual dungeon, unfortunately, even though that would be really cool. Also, our first iron, I should point out, which as soon as I can, I'll go ahead and make some iron armor and an iron pickaxe. But first, let's see if we got anything interesting in this mine shaft. I'll definitely take all the iron that I can get my hands on. That's for sure. Ooh, amethyst geode. Wow. Okay, I did not expect to find this. I'm definitely going to bookmark this because great waypoint and I can't spell it. There we go. Confirm. There we go. Now I'll always be able to find it. Hopefully anyway. Yep. This is most definitely looking promising. I mean, if we find diamonds as well, ooh, that wouldn't be half bad either. All of this is andesite. I just need normal stone to make a little bit of a furnace or to make sure that I can make a furnace. But all of this almost, yep, uh, yep, oh dear me, it's all andesite. This is a bit of a problem. Gonna have to go up for more. Oh, never mind. You can actually use deep slate. There we go. Okay, don't need to worry about cobblestone then. Good. That is very handy. All right, our very first iron. Gonna go ahead. Well, I was gonna go ahead and make an iron pickaxe, but now it's kind of weird because now I have to do all this talking to figure. There, there we go. Iron pickaxe for the win. And I do really want to keep moving, but I think it's worth waiting for some of this stuff to cook. Uh, oh, that's the wrong slot. So that we can get some iron armor. I think that is going to be ideal. But that doesn't mean I can't explore the surrounding area, though. Oh, wow, this place is absolutely ginormous. There's even more of the mineshaft over there. Wow. Also, this is the ore that we're looking for, by the way. So, oh, wait, is this it? Oh, no. <laughs> Very disappointed, no. <laughs> Just for that, I, I need to... Die. Nope, 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 wait. This is supposed to go in my way. This is supposed to go... Is that... Nope, that's not it either. Ooh, would you look at that? Pretty sure I just heard a big stomp. Oh, torches. You know what? Torches? Torches are always welcome. Redstone, yes please. I really want to find diamonds as well. That would be really ideal. I actually might not be far enough down yet, because I really don't see any. It is a little bit rare, I'm pretty sure. But I might not be low enough on the Y level, because I, I am just at the edge where the deep slate is showing. So I think I might need to just go deeper. But that, that, that really tricked me. <laughs> Alright, we now have enough to get iron armor as well. Huge. Upgrade right here. Oh, I can't. I. I eh. <laughs> My inventory is so full right now, but there we go. Iron armor, get up. Now I think I'm gonna try and head down here to go even deeper. Because ideally, we want to get a bunch of diamonds as well as possible. Wait a minute, I see a dungeon. I see a dungeon on the map. Hold up. I think we might be able to get to it if we go. This way, definite. Nope, it's not animated. It's animated in here. See, it's changing colors, so that's how we might be able to extinguish it from all the other ores. Could you not, please? I don't like you. Okay. I mean, according to the map, there should be a spawner right over here. And I believe it. So... Uh, where is it? I think I'll get to it soon enough if I just keep going. Yep, I think if I head down here... Yep, that is... Zombie spawner as well. Not too bad. Might be useful in the future. If I need a bunch of rotten flesh. Let's see what we got here. Aqua Affinity. Hmm. Name tag, I mean, I'm not too bothered about any of this stuff. Name tag, can I craft that? Uh, no, but I can trade for it. As long as I can trade for it, I don't really mind too much. This, however, could be really, really valuable. Uh, B 
beetroot seeds as well, actually. Uh, you know what? Two emeralds. I can find two emeralds elsewhere. Wheat. Pretty valuable right now because my food situation is not the best. Would be really cool if some of this would lead down to another big cave that I really like open and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I'm running right into the danger. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, there's a quark spawner up there. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Place a bunch of torches, place a bunch of torches. We're at minus eight, it's fine, everything's fine. I can do this. I can definitely do this. Maybe. Oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, that blew up. That blew up, please go away. Okay. See? So yeah, it would be fine. What are you? What is this? Ugh. Okay. No. Nah. 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 That really scared me. And why are there so many creepers here? And why am I so close to the surface again? I don't want this. Is that a diamond? Oh, that's definitely not a diamond. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that actually helped me. I'm gonna go down here now. It's cool with everyone. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Oh, wait, gold. Uh, do I want gold? That's another amethyst geode. Oh, wow, this place is ginormous. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to get rid of you. That's for sure. Okay. Is that it? Nope, not changing color. Not it. I found diamonds, though. Would you look at that? Nice. Okay, I think we're definitely in a good spot here. Ooh, three diamonds even. Oh, inventory space. Not good. Well, I'll need to eat, so... There we go. First diamonds. Please go away. <sighs> Actually, I do need to have flesh now, so they are kind of welcome. More diamonds. Well, I guess I should say more diamond. <laughs> that was just one. I think these could... Oh, bombs? Not really interested in that. Torches. Yes, please. I use torches a lot to mark my way. Oh, this goes even further down. Never mind. That's an amethyst in the way. Okay, it goes even further down over here. That's good to know. Found another diamond. Sadly, only one though. But we have five in total now. That's pretty good. Also, have a bunch of these pots here. No idea what that was. Ash? I'm really interested in... Cobweb. <laughs> Cobweb, if you watched me playing Vault Hunters, uh, the first Vault Hunters, uh, you, you'll know why I want cobwebs. All right, I think it is time for me to find one of those spots that I found that headed even deeper down. So that we may find what we're looking for, because I know for one of the things, at the very least, I need to go down to below minus 30. So I'm still a bit too high up. Okay, I think this is one of the spots. Um... Why is everything orange around me? That is a little bit creepy. Oopsie. Oh, this is filled with lava, isn't it? Hmm. What's back there? Maybe some cave stuff. Oh, wow. Eh. Oh, but this is... Oh, but this is cool, though. <laughs> This looks diamonds and minus 54 diamonds over there as well. Okay, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and add a waypoint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it good cave because this is a really good cave. I just need to be able to bridge to where I need to go. And I think I'm going to make a few things here before I continue. I'm going to place it on my crafting table. A bucket is definitely going to be valuable in this scenario. Also, it's nighttime, so I'm going to place down my bed. I don't actually know if I can catch on fire, so I'll do it over there. But uh, I think I'm also going to make a... Where did my crafting table go? I'm just... Yep, I, I am just blind. I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe. And, oh wow, I'm still carrying around my wooden one. Goodbye, buddy. But anyways, I want some... Yes, I want an, a water bucket so that I can get some obsidian. Because the vault altar recipe has actually 
changed since last Vault Hunters version. Man, I need to get far in order to get this water source. Okay, uh, is it up here? Up. Oh, there we go. Got it. And now just follow this water down almost all the way. And while the water is still making its way down, try and get some obsidian. That's one, two, and if I go ahead and just search Vault Altar. Alter. Nope, that's not the right name of it. Apparently, I just can't spell, but here it is. Here you can see the new crafty recipe. Now you no longer need to, need to defeat the ender dragon and whatnot. You can make it just with obsidian, some chromatic iron ingots, a diamond, and some stone brick. So we can actually get into the vaults a lot sooner than we used to. I'm also gonna grab 10 extra obsidian, so 12 in total, so that I can make another portal. Just in case. Boom. All right, all 12 obsidian pieces has been acquired. Time to continue. And now I can actually get across just doing this very carefully because I don't want to ruin too much of the lava lake because it is very pretty. Now time to see if we can find what we're looking for right after getting this diamond so I don't forget. Oh dear, nope, nope, uh... really bad, really bad. Please go away, yeah, that's right. Uh -oh. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, this is not a, this is not a good situation. Okay, we're good. Guys, we found it, well, we found something. Um, one of the things that we needed, and that is that right there. Not 100% sure what it's called, I think like Vault Rock, or something like that. First though, no. oh, uh oh, um, guys, please hold, please, please hold, please, please hold, uh oh, please. Oh, please hold. Okay, fine. I have to beat you to death with a stick. You asked for it. You, you really did. I said please hold, and you didn't hold. So now, this. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, I have no more iron. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do what I wanted to do anyway. Well, as I was saying, this right here. No, don't want ash. Go away. Is vault rock, I'm pretty sure. Yes, because this, when we mine this, basically we get vault cobblestone, which is really cool. But we also get, or has a, we also have a chance of getting these. You know what, uh, Iron Pig X, I think, I think, I think you have served your time. We get these chipped vault rocks, which we need four of in total in order to get one uh, vault crystal, or, or vault rock, I should say so that we can turn that vault rock into a vault crystal. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to mine all of this up, and I'm actually gonna throw my cobble deep slate. And you can also use this, uh, smelt it, and get this polished vault stone, which we also need. Well, we need that or this vault cobblestone in order to make the portal, because it's no longer made out of the black stone from the nether. So we actually needed to find this for two reasons. All right, I have a three and a half stacks of this vault cobblestone and enough for seven vault crystals or vault rocks, I should say. So yeah, I made a waypoint right here. And if we go to this top here, we actually have a village right here. So that's kind of cool. We're kind of exploring the old world while we're also exploring underground. That's cool. However, I am still missing that one ore, which is chromatic iron. I am not leaving this cave until I find chromatic iron. I left the cave without finding any chromatic iron. Even though I clearly said that I wouldn't, I did. And that is because we have this village over here, which hopefully is going to have some food. We also have some nice livestock over here, so maybe we'll be able to get some even more food. And then I'll be able to hopefully find a better cave that is going to be more suited for our needs. But first, since I am now up, it is crucial that I, wait a minute, wait a minute, that was food, that was food, give, give, give. <laughs> it is crucial that I set my respawn point here just so I don't end up back in the caves, because that would not be ideal. Now, do these guys have hay bales? What? <laughs> what, is, what are you? Really, really buff villager. Um... Okay. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, all right. Well, 
No extra food. Um, what is this? This can't be a normal village. The normal village is over there. If this is just normal villages, I will be surprised. Huh. I guess it is. Wow. Okay, this place, um... They're a little bit further ahead in, uh... In the development than the other guys we were at. <laughs> Good food as well. Well, this is worth exploring. You know, I would really love to take this. But... I... Yeah. Inventory issues. I could take one of these houses as a temporary home, though, until I get the stuff that I need and come back here for all my stuff. I might do that. Oh, hold the phone. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to stay in one of these buildings because there is some pretty valuable stuff here. Wow. Um, oh, wow, even better. Even better. You know what? I think this kitchen... What? You good? Or did you fall? Oh, wow. What do we have here? Uh, wood? Yeah. Okay. You know what? I think this is gonna be a pretty good spot for me to stay. Two golden apples! That's huge! Okay, this place is actually even better than than I thought. Uh, we, ju we just won't tell these guys about, well, these guys, okay? It's, it's gonna be a little bit of a secret, all right? Because um, don't know what they'll say if they knew <laughs> that those were here. Y you know, it could be an opposing faction or something. That, that wouldn't be good. Now I'll then finally be able to get this, the crossbow. That's gonna become handy later on. All right, I think I'm ready to try this cave thing again. But just so this video doesn't become super long, I'll be back when I find chromatic iron or something really, really interesting. I'm gonna try and take a peek in some of these caves, see if there's, if it goes down deep enough. Ladies and gentlemen, at long last, we eh, eh, have found it. Not gonna lie, this has taken me quite a while to, oh wow, okay. Iskal was not kidding when he said, when you find it, you'll find a lot of it. <laughs> wow, okay, first things first. I'm going to make a waypoint here. Uh, what's it called again? I, I keep forgetting the name. Chromatic Iron. There we go, all right. Let us make a waypoint. Map, waypoint, chromatic iron. You know what? I'm probably going to mine the entire thing. But yeah, I uh, it's, it's taken me a while to get here. If we take a look at the map, I have... Uh, <laughs> I have explored quite a bit, um, but I did learn something. Apparently this ore cannot spawn in caves that I was searching earlier because they can't spawn where air, where they're exposed to air, basically. However, they can spawn where they are exposed to, well, fluids or other uh, blocks. So the chromatic iron is a little bit rare. You will usually find it in, well, large quantities. So what I recommend doing is making a nature's compass. It's not really expensive. Once you get a couple a couple of fine and a little bit of redstone, you can make a nature's compass. Then you can right click it and then you can search for deep oceans. And then any of these, find the nearest one. And then, which this is a deep ocean right here. And just start, uh, start searching all of these uh, different caves here. Eventually, I managed to find one that went below minus 30 in Y level. And that, well, finally contained this right here. I'm gonna try and get this entire cluster if I can. That way I will not need to worry about it at all ever again. Also, you will get some of this. Uh, you will get this iron in the vaults as well as part of the loot. Um, but yeah, just having a lot of it is going to be nice for now. All right, that was one big vein, 63 plus. It seems like we have another vein right over here. Question is, how big is this one? Seems like it was just those four. So a stack and three chromatic iron. That is not half bad. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Also, my cat is blocking my screen. That's my door. <laughs> My cat is making me live on the edge. Anyway, now I need to try and find my way back out. I have plenty of doors, 
So I should be covered when it comes to air. There we go, that's the exit. I found it just in time as well. I'm running very low on food. And, uh, well... Yeah, now it's time to get back home at long last. Alright, we are finally back home and we can start making vault rocks and crystals. But first we need to make the vault altar and we have everything that we need in order to make this thing. Two obsidian, two chromatic iron ingots, one diamond and four stone brick. And here we go, we also need a button and our vault altar has been made. However, this does not fit. But now that we have the altar, we need to go ahead and make ourselves a vault rock right here. Four chipped vault rocks like so. One chromatic iron ingot gives us a vault rock and the These guys keep jumping down and taking damage. They, they need to leave. Anyways, we right click and ooh, this recipe is actually very, very easy for us. That is amazing. One thing that I do want to go ahead and do as well. We have 22 diamonds from my expeditions. I'm going to go ahead and make some upgraded armor right here as well as a diamond axe i think is going to be worth it for sure there we go and diamond chest plate diamond leggings and we could go ahead and make some boots but i think i'm going to save those four diamonds for later all right i have almost half of it i have the obsidian i need one more coal six sand and four wheat all of that should be very very easy to get our hands on Oh yeah, I didn't show you the inside of the castle. This place is actually, well, that's the wheat problem solved. This place is actually really, really cool. I mean, we got a diamond in here, some obsidian as well. The vines are very useful. I'll definitely take the emeralds and actually I'll take all of it. <laughs> I'll take it all. But yeah, this place is actually pretty cool. We also have this place up here, which do we have any coal? Oh no, but we have food. I, I will not say no to food. Um. A lot of books as well. That's actually very, very useful. Maybe for, okay, yes, coal. <laughs> Where can one find coal? Ye oh, no. I'm a pro. Coal has been spotted. There we go. Wheat, coal. Now I just need the sand, which I totally didn't forget. And there we go. Six sand. And with that, our very first vault crystal has been completed. Now here's a thing to note, when you are below level 10, you basically get kind of a grace period, meaning that the vaults that you run while you're below level 10, you basically won't lose your items, or I should say you won't lose the items that you, end, that you bring with you into the vault. So if I walk into the vault right now, I die, I come out with everything that I have on me right now, except for this crystal, because I would obviously be using that for the portal. So that is really cool, um, and I think with that we are ready. So a few things to note, I have my crossbow here, which we found in the chest out there, together with the few arrows that we have. I also managed to find a bundle, which I don't have any shulker boxes or anything like that, so I feel like that would be very useful uh, for our case. Um, because we have no other storage and I of course have brought two golden apples just in case because just like before there are no natural healing and I think this place could do for the portal or to this this place could work having the portal right here so this is where I'm gonna build the portal I'm gonna build it out of the vault cobblestone you could also I think I mentioned this smelt it into the polished vault stone but I am not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the cobble. I kinda like the texture actually. Alright, get rid of some of this grass. Put some light on the subject. Place the vault crystal. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, are we ready? I think I might sleep first. Maybe bring us an extra stack of blocks that I can maneuver around with. And then we're running our first vault, ladies and gentlemen. I think I have everything I need. So let's do it. All right, here goes nothing. Advancement made, the vault entered a beginner's grace. All items you entered with will be restored on death, no experience on death. So there you go. Now one big change, oh, and it's a scavenger. Okay, probably not gonna complete it. But one new thing about the vault is that each vault, I believe, will have their own theme, which is going to define the block palette and like the, 
like how the corridors look and things like that. And also you are no longer able to place waypoints while you're in the vault. So you got to remember uh, your way home basically. <laughs> And also, ooh, that looks fancy. Also, the rooms are now completely safe and there won't just be random chests scattered around the area. There will be um, points of interest, essentially. Oh, I hear some stuff over here. Oh, husks. Oh, skeleton. Hello. Oh, careful, careful. So these points of interest are what's going to contain chests and also spawners. Ooh, this is a really good place actually. Okay, and that takes forever to break. So we're just gonna go ahead and loot this very fast. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get up here. <laughs> I've already lost a heart. That's not ideal at all. So far we're good. Just gotta be quicker than that. Oh, that's an anvil. Oh, I really want that. I really want that. I also want this. Another right, yep, okay. Oh, and then some spawners, they will disappear after they have spawned their mobs. Which the that one just did. Oh, I just insta-killed that creeper. That was that was sick actually. Alright, you guys gotta go. Yeah, hit already. <laughs> there we go. And one other thing to note as well. The amount of experience that you get after you have run a vault is going to be determined from how well you do. So the loot and I think also the amount of mobs you kill and things like that. Our inventory is already full. Okay, so hold on. I think the green glowy thingy is a place where we can put away the things. Yep, okay, burp. <laughs> What's this? Green mob essence. Is that such a scavenger item? Nope, apparently not. Did I get anything else? Yes, the jars. Okay, actually that's not doing bad, too bad. All right, let's proceed to the next room. And as you can see, there's a lot of new loot. We will cover it as we uh, get to it and like need to use it and stuff like that. Ooh, we got a spawner over there, some ores though. Maybe we have some vault ores. Okay, that one is just going to continuously spawn. Okay, no vault. Uh, Ores there. I'll check for other. There's a point of interest up there. Okay, right click to add items to this thing. So I can go ahead and pick individual things up to fill this. Okay, this is actually huge, having the, the bundle right here. Shulker shell, if we get one more, we'll be able to craft a. Um... Oh, that's convenient. That's not convenient. <laughs> we'll be able to craft a shulker box. All right, what are you hiding here? Ooh, yes, please. I will take the torches, actually. Nothing. Else. Oh. Oh no, baby, 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 baby. Oh. <laughs> I completely missed. And load, please. Oh. Be gone. Oh. Should have been faster than that, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Give me yes. Yes. All right, let us. That's home. Let's try and keep going. Also, these hallways now are completely safe, which is really nice. Also, I believe the rooms generate differently each time, so you will never get a room that is the same. Clear the area. Uh, looks like the spawner disappeared, so that's. Oh, yeah. Chests can still be trapped. <laughs> I uh, I forgot about that. I mean, if we could complete the scavenger, that would be kind of cool. Our first vault and we complete a scavenger out of all things? That would be sick. And black mob essence would be really cool in this scenario as well. That's poison. Don't have anything against that, so definitely don't want to be hit with that. Okay, we are not doing too bad, I don't think. All things considered. Ooh, what's this? Coins. Okay, uh, yeet. Okay, so these are coin piles. Wow, this thing is bad. And you can dig these to get the coins, just like this. And it kind of shows at the top that that's what I need to get from the blood vials. Oh, that is, to me, a little bit confusing. 
Ooh, a locked door. Okay, that's cool. Don't know how we unlock it. I assume with keys from, like, how it worked in the first of all, Princess. Okay, we are getting quite a bit of loot here. Not gonna complain. We are missing 25% of our health, though. But we still have plenty of time left, so that's good. All right, once again, I will mark my entrance. Still don't have any of the stuff required. Was that a gilded? Oh, wait. Do we have a gilded? Ah, oh, no gilded. No gilded chest, unfortunately. That would have been cool. Uh, that spawner is... I keep spawning, though. Oh, no. Whew. That could have gone bad. That could have gone very bad. <laughs> Just gonna take that, and then I think I would overstay my welcome if I stayed. Okay, and this is the... Uh... The limit then, okay. Oh, creeper. Ooh, okay. Well, oh, uh oh. Okay, you're dead. Need to eat. There's a spawner over there as well. Definitely want diamond as well. What's a drop though? Uh, bread. I don't need the books. Don't need the books. I have plenty of books home. Ah, nothing. I will take the diamond though. Quickly need to get out. <laughs> right, and this thing is gonna keep spawning. Oh, 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 die. Please. Okay, get this. Uh, quick, get this and this. Uh, okay, I guess we can search these side paths. However, I think I'm gonna need to go Napple. Just to be on the safer side of things. Get a little bit of regeneration and two extra hearts. Oh, wait. We have two shulker shells. Two shulker shells. Meaning, if I go ahead and make a chest. Oh, apparently I can carry that on my head. <laughs> Water bottle, don't need that. I can now put all of this stuff in there. Oh, wow, yep. Perfect. Sweet. I can now carry more loot. I really, really want to find some of the other chests as well. Which we now have more different kinds of chests. Some which will contain different items or different types of items. And I honestly, unfortunately, don't remember the exact differences between the uh, different chests and whatnot. But I'm sure you... Oh, yes. Finally. Oh, poison. That was close. That was a bit too close for comfort, that one. But yeah, like I said, I'm sure you guys will let me know down below in the comments. Yeah. I saw different chests in there, though. I just hope that spawner is one that gets used up. It is not. Living chests, these, are good. Get it all. I think that was all of it. Yep, okay. So we can put that in. Uh, don't need that. Scavenger item, don't need that. I'm gonna pop my next golden apple here. That's a little bit too close for comfort, that one. Okay, those are the ones that I talked about before. The black and red ones. Or the black and red chests. Alright, what we got here? A spawner that's gonna keep spawning, unfortunately. Oh, that's a skeleton with a bow. Skeleton with a bow. That's bad. Oh, you're fast. You're a little bit too fast, buddy. Please go away. Okay, there's another point of interest there. This has a... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out. Oh. Local plumber. No kidding. Okay, this room is actually very, very dangerous. No. Guild chest. But there's so much death. What is this? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm in a pickle here. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm in a pickle. This is scary. I want that guilty chest, though. Oh, and the enchantment table would be nice, too. I don't have any more healing. I need to be very, very careful. Okay, go here. No! 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 No, 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 no! Okay, two and a half hearts. Two and a half hearts. I have to run. I have to run. I have to run. Need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. Ah, those guilty chests, though. No! No. Oh, there's gilded chest right there, too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not giving up that quickly. If I get hit just two more times, I lose it all. Okay, I need to get rid of this swarm. Or at least around it. Okay, mission accomplished. 
Oh no, can't take full damage, cannot take full damage. Okay, wait, this place seems safe. I think this place is safe. Don't think there are spawners here. Okay. Red scroll, let's go. Oh, at least it's <laughs> They're making their way back. Uh, go away, guys, please. If possible. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes should be plenty to get back home. Two hearts, though. Two hearts. Full diamond. Okay, I think... I have no idea what that sound was, but I am running for it. Okay, that was um, interesting. If I fall, take fall damage, I die. If I get hit once, I die. I think I need to just get home ASAP. I have a bunch of loot on me. If I had brought my other two golden apples, I would have been able to probably take that place on and get all the chests. All right, this is my stop or my return. I could loot for another three minutes, but I don't want to risk it. First vault complete. And honestly, that didn't go too bad. It, it, it was a bit stressful at times, but other than that, pretty good. And there we go. We have survived. This is a really, really cool screen. So we killed 92 mobs. We dealt 1600 damage. They, or, or I received 16 damage as well. Vault C, time left, time spent in the vault, XP multiplier. We got modifier list here and total chest looted 53. You know what? That's not too bad. Three trap though. Wow. And for creeper 60 husks. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim the XP. Won't you spawn by the portal? Okay, that's sick. Guys, vault run successful. And we got one and a half level from it and the loot is pretty cool actually. Uh, I this even have, okay, we're gonna use some of these things. Um. Four netherite scrap, we got the bundle filled with stuff as well, and netherite ingot even. Uh, we got an anvil, that's cool. Uh, I can put the eternal souls in there now. Diamond nuggets, carbon nugget, I assume those turn into... Oh, carbon. Oh. Okay. Interesting stuff, vault dust. A lot of cool stuff, and some of the things I don't even know exactly how to use yet. However... We do have five burger buns, five burger patties, and three burger cheese, which we can combine and make cheeseburgers. So it's, it works a bit differently this time around. We can make normal hamburgers, then we can make a cheeseburger, then we can, because we're missing the tomatoes, we can make a double cheeseburger, which I think I'm going to do, just like so. Maybe we can get to level, maybe we can get to level two. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Level two, we got two skill points we can use. Awesome. We also have a mystery box. Ooh, Alexandrite. Okay, that's cool. We also came out with a knowledge essence, which we can turn into a knowledge shard, and then we can make knowledge stars just like previously. However, the knowledge core is different this time. Extraordinary Benyotite, okay. So it costs Benyotite now to get um, to make that. Okay, that is cool. Okay, if that had been a chicken, that would have been impressive. Anyway, if we take a look at the screen, things have changed. And that's one thing that I forgot to mention, by the way. From my understanding, enchantments such as protection and whatnot no longer really has an effect, which is why I went through without any uh, enchantments on my armor. Instead, you can look at this screen right here to see how your defense, your hearts, your damage, things like that right here, and a bunch of other stats over on the right as well. Uh, and the stuff in here as well. Then of course we have the ability section, which looks really, really awesome and cool. I think there might be some new things in here as well, but there are things like Vein Miner and Dash, things that we know from before, Talons as well. Then we got Archetypes as well, which Currently, Minecraft is selected, but in the future, we'll be able to select other things as well. Then, of course, we have the research table, which I have not been looking at whatsoever. And I definitely need to take a closer look at it, but we got pouches? Okay, there's a section called looting. Pouches, belts, backpacks, big backpacks, junk management? Ooh. Iron generators, power, thermal dynamos, mechanism, create thermal expansion, botania. Mining gadgets, uh, ga gadgets, <laughs> mining gadgets, digital miner, easy villagers. Oh yeah, 
This is gonna be very, very cool. Simple storage network. Ooh. Simple. Wait a minute. Is that in the, is that in the pack? In the, in the pack? Simple storage network. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna need to take a look at all this stuff. But we have two skill points. Uh, I'm not sure what to use it on. Vein Miner is really cool. Nova, deal a percentage of your damage in a radius around yourself. Okay. Rampage puts you in a state of rampage, giving you an additional damage increase while active. Ghost Walk makes you invisible for a duration of time. Mega Jump, Dash, we know those. Mana Shield gives you a mana shield that redirects a percentage of incoming damage to your mana pool. Okay. Execute, we know that one as well. Wait, heal. Heals you for an amount of hit points. Minimum level zero, cooldown is 10 seconds, mana cost is 30, heal four. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Now I took this ability, and as you can see down there, we now have heal selected, and right onto the mana bar. Hey buddy, you're almost dead. You just stopped jumping from staircases. I just accidentally healed without recording. Oops. Anyway, if I hold down a hold, as you can see, we have the ability wheel right here. Well, mine is set to alt anyway. And then if we press G, as you can see, it takes 30 away from our mana. And then it recharges the heal and we get slowly mana regenerated. And there are no mana potions, things like that. However, you can later in the future uh, do things to upgrade so the mana generates faster. Um, but we still have one unspent skill point. Which I don't know, strength would be cool, but it doesn't look like our strength is an issue. Speed would always be cool, but that requires two levels. Experience is always nice as well. We could upgrade this as well. And as you can see, there are a lot more uh, levels that we could, uh, that we can upgrade. So for example, the next level reduces the mana cost by five and the cooldown a little bit as well. And it would be two out of 12. We can also choose here, cleanse, changes heal to, changes heal to instead cleanse any negative effect affecting you. Okay, so that would turn the heal into a poison remover, for example. Heal, changes your heal to a group heal, yourself and teammates. That's tempting, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't at the moment have access to health potions as such, so. Uh, dash, dash, huh? Dash is kind of cool. I'm gonna do dash. I really want vein miner, but honestly, dash is uh is really cool. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's way more than three blocks. Okay, <laughs> that is awesome. I'm really happy with this. I need to make a few chests here. Make that one chest because uh, no one would. Let's put this stuff in here. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Vault Hunters. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I really have, except for these villagers falling up and down the staircases. I need to move. In between episodes, I'm going to getting myself organized, getting a plan down maybe for where to build a, play, build a base. When I was exploring, I found some really cool stuff here. So I definitely need to do a think. Uh, could take over the castle as well. Plenty of possibilities. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, any tips and tricks, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. It is much appreciated. Also, while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like as it helps the channel out a ton. Also, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. So until next time, have a wonderful day and goodbye.